In this ageless setting lives one of Britain's most respected and forward-thinking car engineers, Dr. Alex Moulton. Suspension systems he has designed have been under more than 10 million British cars, including the biggest seller of them all, the Mini. Dr. Moulton built two entirely different suspensions for the Mini. The more sophisticated of them, a fluid system connecting the front and rear wheels, also went under the Austin 1100, the Allegro, the Maxi and the Metro. Amazingly, this 30-year-old system is also used in Rover's brand new sports car, the MGF. But today, we wanted Dr. Moulton to take time out from building his famous Moulton bicycles to test a car for us, the luxurious LS400 Saloon, one of the world's most comfortable cars. Why exactly was it so good? Suspension starts to act immediately the car becomes alive. And um, it affects everything, not only the behavior of the car in a directional sense, but also uh, the suspension influences the noise coming through from the road. Right, the key, yeah. yes, the, the, key, the key point yeah. that, that seems not to be appreciated yeah. by everybody is that the suspension controls noise as well as movement. Indeed. Um, now, I'm noticing, by the way, now that we're beginning to move, um, one of the motions is what is called the pitching motion. The pitching motion, which the camera will be able to pick up, um, is the movement of the horizon, of the view ahead, in the duration of the car itself. And if that horizon is bobbing up and down because the car is pitching, that's disturbing. It's correct to say, isn't it, broadly speaking, that a car with soft suspension will not change direction as quickly Quite. or as well as one which is well tied down, as they say. It is. True? Absolutely, that's and, and true. And, and presumably, that, the, the, the problem for you as a suspension yeah. designer is to is to get the comfort and the agility. That is the compromise that one is always trying, trying to affect. Okay. Now, we're going to now go down a bit of, of um, really fast type of road, which is um, quite difficult to negotiate. We'll run down there, and this may be interesting, because I'll try out when the time comes, there's a rather big, deep, breathing which will take place when I fly out. This is a test of the of the suspension's total control. Total of the body. control, exactly. Right. And we shall we're just beginning to move into these undulations. The car tends to use all of its all of its travel and we shall eventually get there you one felt it just going through a little bit. Now we're going to get some rather nasty ones here. There we're going right through. Still very controlled. There we are going again and again and again. You can feel like you're using up all its travel. It would be lovely to see what the wheel is saying there, yeah. and then it would be there, it would be quite deep. There's not bad, perfectly controllable, um, but uh, certainly um, the suspension is being made to do the whole lot. There we are again. Yeah. Uh, how, do you, how do you find the car? I mean, what, what are your, what are your, how well, do you look, start I, your I, I, look, I mean, it's a very, very fine car. Now, on the suspension, I don't regard it as, as, as particularly brilliant. In other words, the solution, technical solutions are rather conventional, and the, therefore the results are rather conventional. If, if, if yes. The latest from Dr. Moulton is that BMW, the Germans who recently bought Rover, are reassessing a prototype he built over 20 years ago with a view to using its suspension in the next Mini due out at the turn of the century.